everyone, in today's video I am going to be showing you a very glamorous French tip that has a little bat outline on it. So the little 3D bat actually goes right along the smile line which can kind of you know, amplify your smile line or if you're somebody that struggles with smile lines you can do something like this to sort of mask it and make it look a little bit more sleek if that is something that you know is just a struggle for you because I know smile lines can really get some people. And the French tip though of this nail is just so pretty, it's got a little netting pattern in it as well as a glitter gradient so just the combination looks fantastic so if you're looking for a glam halloween design this might be the way to go or if you're looking for something really funny and crazy then you can check out helen's design hers is actually two baseball bats that are fighting each other so that's just a kind of funny take on the bat theme for this for this challenge so i hope you guys like our designs and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos bye so I'm going to begin by sculpting my nail bed with my cover pink acrylic and sculpting this nail bed is actually probably the single most important step of doing any French design if you're doing it reverse like this. If you're doing a reverse sculpt French, just getting that smile line sculpted is just so vital. And so you just want to really focus on that. As you can see, I'm not at that point. I was not worried about structure, apex, taking it all the way up to the cuticle. Don't just leave all that stuff for later especially if you're new to it and then after you have that all sculpted then you're going to take a hand file and you're going to clean up your smile line and this part here like i you know it's still part of the smile line it's still crucial and you want your file to be perpendicular to the nail so that if you look at it you've got these right angles and once you have that done then you're pretty much you're good to go so now to fill in the tip of the nail i'm using a lighter brighter kind of like an orchidy shade of purple acrylic whatever color you use for this know that it's going to be significant significantly darker looking or feeling by the end of the design so if you're worried that your color is too bright don't really overstress about that because it will appear darker in just a moment so now as you're letting that acrylic just begin to set up as you can see it looks like it's a velvety mat you're going to press a piece of netting that you've dipped into some acrylic powder through the acrylic so you're going to just sort of really really press it into that acrylic so that it leaves an imprint of the pattern of the netting and I used a really fine netting because I wanted it to almost necessarily, not necessarily show up everywhere as a net and give you this really fine, fine pattern. Because you get all different sizes of that netting so that you can get different effects. And I'm going to brush a darker purple from the cuticle down and then black on the tip. Or not, from the smile line down and black on the tip. After that's set, use a hand file to reveal that netting design. And definitely use a hand file because it doesn't take much to file through that little bit of acrylic to reveal your pattern. And you don't want to accidentally file through it and it's just too easy to over file with an e-file in this particular circumstance. So give your hand file a workout. And then after you have that, dust the nail. And then I'm going to dip a bead of clear acrylic into some glitter that's a purple and black glitter mix. And I'm going to apply that from the cuticle. I always say that, no, smile line from the smile line down and then you're going to want to encapsulate the tip with some clear acrylic just to make sure that everything in that tip is the right height because at this point your nail bed should still be significantly higher than the tip of the nail because you want to have that little bit of a an edge on it you want there to be a lip between the whole between the tip and your nail bed I'm going to actually encapsulate the entire nail just because I like to have a smooth layer of acrylic that's just from one application on a nail before I file. That's personal preference. That's not necessarily something that everybody has to do. But now with your e-file, you can go through and file the nail into shape and then apply a layer of gel sealer over that beautiful French tip. Oh, I just love it. And then cure that and you can start sculpting your bat. The great thing about having a layer of gel sealer underneath black acrylic like this is it makes it so that the black acrylic will not stain your nail bed area, which is something that black acrylic will tend to do if you don't have that. So to sculpt my little bat, I'm going to begin with the body. And I'm going to keep this super simple and super basic, not an overly detailed bat. I want this whole nail to just look elegant and maybe you won't even notice that there's a bat hanging out on the smile line unless you really look at it so that it's more of like a surprise, hey look, there's actually a bat on here type of a type of a deal. So I've got the body to start with and then I'm going to be adding the wings on either side and you can use your smile line to guide the placement of the wings which is going to help the symmetry from side to side significantly, especially if your smile line is straight. Now if your smile line's not straight in the beginning then you may have um, a little bit more trouble if you try to do that. But as long as your smile line was nice and symmetrical then using that as as a guide, like I said, is 
a really great, you know, just a great thing to do because you can easily make sure that you're matching. So tuck in those other wings, give some nice little points on the bottom, look back and forth from side to side to make sure you're happy with it at each step of the way. Tuck everything in, smooth it out. And then with some white paint, I'm going to be adding a few little details to my bat. Nothing too much, but I do want to add some outlines just so that it's not this black blob that you can't see what it is even. So I've got eyes and then a few little details on the wings. So I'm going to outline essentially the bone structure of the wings. So along the top line and then from that middle point down to the lower points. Add two little pupils and then some matte top coat over the bat. And that is all. I hope you guys love this design as much as I do. Like I said, just the pure elegance of this nail. I would pair this with a whole set of those Frenchies across the other ones if you didn't want to do bats on every finger. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram because I would love to see them. And I will see you next time. Bye.